Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to uh, part six in my Scream Factory collection overview. Uh, today we're gonna be looking at, um, which is gonna be the final part, which is actually gonna be the Shout Factory titles, um, which includes like the Roger Corman line and you know some of the uh, Shout Select titles and, and et cetera. But first up here is a couple titles that was sitting over in my uh, um, documentary section, which is actually filled with boutique label stuff, but Tear in the Isles, a great documentary. Um, yeah, this is one that I always have fond memories of watching. When did it come out? 1984. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. This was actually originally released on as a special feature on the original uh, Halloween 2 Blu-ray that Screen Factory put out. So they ended up releasing it individually, which is very cool because I always love the artwork on that. And then we got the 7852 uh, Hitchcock's uh, shower scene uh, documentary from uh, Psycho, of course. Um, which is also very, very cool. So, yeah, I thought I'd just throw those ones in the mix here. Um, I do actually have a couple more Scream Factory titles that'll be in my next update. I just thought of that right now, actually. I could have brought them down, but if you guys are wanting to watch the next uh, DVD Blu-ray update, they will be in there. All right, so getting into the Shout Factory titles. And my butt is going to start hurting. I'm sitting on my hardwood floor, and this is, yeah. You're going to hurt. All right, first up here is The Evil, which, of course, Screen Factory released on Blu-ray. Twice Dead was an exclusive Blu-ray I think you could get. I passed on all the exclusives pretty much because I was just so annoyed that all this Roger Corman stuff that they, like, outright own <laughs> is all exclusive to the website. It's just, it's such a fucking cash grab. It just really pissed me off. So I wasn't going to grab any of the Roger Corman stuff. Um, I'll grab the odd exclusive thing if I really, really need it. Um, one in particular I had to grab, which was actually Communion, which you guys will see in the update, but um, for the Room Org 200 challenge that me and JP are doing. But um, but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool with having the DVD of uh, Twice Dead. I don't like it as much as The Evil, and plus, you know, Screen Factory released that too, so that's a cool double feature. Um, then we got the Slumber Party Massacre collection, which of course has all been released by Screen Factory now on Blu-ray which is awesome. But you know, these sets are really cool. They're still, they're still awesome to have. I really like the way they, um, the way they presented all these sets. They're really nice. Uh, and then we got, uh, the terror within and dead space, which also became exclusives. I think dead space was released on its own. And this actually came in a double feature, I believe with part two. Um, I'm happy with this, even though dead space apparently is actually might be the uncut or no it's in widescreen i think i think that's a big difference yeah because dead space on here is in 4.3 and they re-released in four in uh in um widescreen and apparently it just it actually does work a lot better it makes the movie a little bit better um but you know what that shit sold out i think i, I believe it i don't know it doesn't matter it is what it is all right so then we got uh not of this earth uh the remake with uh, the beautiful tracy lords and I really like Tracy Lords. I think she's a great actress, man. You know, of course, she's got that crazy porno history. Everybody probably knows the story behind that. I don't need to elaborate. But, um, of course, directed by the one and only Jim Warnowski. I love Jim Warnowski, man. I met him years ago at Wasteland, and we had a great conversation. He hated my beard. That's when I had my year beard going. It's pretty funny. He got Chopping Mall signed, actually. And actually, he told me that there was a Blu-ray coming of that before anybody knew. I thought that was kind of cool of him. But anyways, I digress. Uh, Not of the Earth. It's a fun remake. I actually really enjoy that remake. Uh, then we got Street Walking. Um, actually, pretty good movie. Not bad. In fact, there's not really a lot in this Roger Corman line that I don't like. Just produces and directs my type of movies, man. It really does. Um, then we got uh, Crazy Mama and uh, The Lady in Red. Yeah, the Dillinger Massacre right there. Um, these are fun. Yeah, these are really fun, actually. Uh, yeah, that's right. Christopher Lloyd. That's pretty cool to see Christopher Lloyd in that. And then we got um, Big Bad Mama and Big Bad, Mama, Big, Bad, Big Bad Mama 2. Look at that cast. Angie Dickinson, William Shatner, Tom Skrellick. Um, I always call Tom Skerritt, 
Tom Skellig. What the fuck am I? T- Tom Skerritt, like the poor man's fucking uh, Tom Selleck. <laughs> the mustache connection. <laughs> oh, man, so funny. But yeah, those are fun too. I enjoy those. I think they have some type of Blu-rays too also. Uh, Up from the Depths and Demon of Paradise. Uh, very. These ones are actually pretty average, to be honest. Um, Demon of Paradise is funny, man, because it's directed by Ciro Santiago. Probably done in um, the Philippines for micro... Up from the Depths was probably directed or produced there, too, or directed there, too. Um, very, very low budget. You don't really get to see much of the monsters and stuff from what I re- remember, but still a pretty cool double feature. Like the theme... Uh, the sci-fi classics, triple feature, Attack of the Crab, Crab Monsters, War of the Satellites, and Not of the Earth, the original, all directed by Roger Corman himself. And these are all really fun um, sci-fi flicks from the 50s, man. They're short. Um, yeah, what is that? 62, 67, and... Was that 65 minutes? He hadn't directed short movies, but that was Corman, man. You know, keep it short, keep the budget down. Uh, I think these have all been... Or maybe... I know... Crab Monster has been released on Blu-ray and exclusive, but I don't really care. Uh, then we got Mutants, aka Forbidden World, which there, as you can see in the background there, um, got both cuts of it. Um, of course, yeah, the Blu-ray is actually sitting right there. Actually, these next bunch will actually be pretty much all these movies that got the Steelbook releases. It's so funny that they only release those in Steelbooks and not in Amory cases, but. I don't know. It is what it is. But none of them are expensive, though. They were all super cheap. Uh, Humanoids from the Deep. I When I showed off the Steelbook, I stressed how much I love this movie. It's like the rapiest monster movie ever. Well, maybe not the rape. There's a couple other ones out there. <laughs> there definitely is a couple other ones. But this one's great, man. I love Humanoids from the Deep. It's super sleazy. Uh, then we got Piranha, which is fantastic. We all know this movie. Joe Dante's awesome film always loved this artwork man always loved it and I hate that steelbook artwork it's gross Uh, Galaxy of Terror fantastic artwork gotta love it is there a reverse one in this one I can't remember yeah there is too and it's under the other title I thought so under Mind Warp that's kick ass that's totally kick ass Uh, love it Galaxy of Terror fantastic stuff and then we got uh, Battle Beyond the Stars, which, again, these artworks are so much better than the than the Steelbooks. Is there a reversal? I can't remember. No, there isn't, actually. I thought there was a reversal, but I really like the way the, you know, I've already said it once, but I, I love the um, the presentation of these Roger Corman line. Super cool, man. They did a good job with these. Like, one of my favorite lines I ever collected. I know there's actually two DVDs I'm missing from the whole collection. They were exclusive ones. I actually found one of them at a at a uh, convention one time and I picked it up for like five bucks or ten bucks or something so that was kind of cool um suburbia love this movie it's fantastic I think it has a shell factory blue ray I believe it does um I if it's still around I should actually upgrade this one I actually really like that movie and then we got (coughs) rock and roll high school which is fun shit um you know, I'm not really much into, like, you know, hardcore musicals and stuff like that, but this one's really fun. With uh, the Ramones. It's cool. It's been a minute since I've actually watched this movie. Got PJ Souls in it, Clint Howard. Yeah, Dick Miller. It's fucking pretty cool, man. I know that one has a Blu-ray. Also, I think all these ones actually do. Just Show Factory ones. Death Race 2000, which actually has reversible artwork, which is this artwork, which is cool. Yeah, I actually like that artwork better. I don't know why I have it on this one. But is what it is. Death Race 2000 with David Carradine. Oh, man. And uh, some Sly Stone is in there also. Some early Sly Stone. You know, it's such a bad movie, but I love it. I love Death Race 2000. And aren't they still making those things? I think there's like six of them or seven of them. I don't know if the remakes are just continue. I have no idea. I don't think I've seen any of them. But I think one just came out again. It's ridiculous. Uh, Death Sport and Battle Truck. These are fun as hell. I love these movies. It's good shit. Yeah, you can never go wrong with anything Richard Lynch, man. Richard Lynch. 
Such a fucking character, man. Yeah, these are fun. I highly recommend those. Cheesy good fun. Then we got some Star Crash. Right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Another really cheap Star Wars knockoff. This artwork's amazing. It's good shit, though. I enjoy it. Yeah. Star Crash. Such a great presentation, man. I gotta love them. All right. What do we got next here? We got some Jackson County Jail and Caged Heat. Women in Prison movies. And I love me some, some uh, prison films, man. These women in jail films are so exploitive, but they're just so amazing. There's so fucking many of them. Bruno Matai has done like three or four of them himself. But what would you expect? You wouldn't expect anything less from Bruno Matai. But yeah, these are fun. Oh, this is a great one too. Georgia Peaches, The Great Texas Dynamite Chase, and of course, Smokey Bites the Dust. These are all pretty fun. Yeah. Smokey Bites the Dust. <laughs> uh, it's not that great, but it's fun. Uh, Eat My Dust and Grand Theft Auto, the Ron Howard double feature. These are both actually pretty fun. This is like... Oh, what years have these things come out? 70, 76 and 70s. So he would have been... Are those, is that Happy Days Days? Happy Days Days? I believe so. I think that's when he was on Happy Days. I think so. So, yeah. Actually pretty fun. Oh, I love this. Sword and Sorcery collection, man. Deathstalker, Deathstalker 2, Barbarian Queen, and the Warrior and the Sorceress. These are fucking awesome, man. I love these movies. I have such a soft spot for these things. And I believe Deathstalk and Death. I think they, they did an exclusive Blu-ray for that too. Or something like that. I don't fucking know. Whatever. Like I said, I didn't really pay too much attention. But got some David Carradine in there. Pretty awesome. I know a couple of these got exclusive too. I know Time Walker for sure. And I think the Velvet Vampire. Or maybe it was Lady Frankenstein. I can't remember. But um, these are Velvet Vampires. Like I really enjoy that movie a lot. Time Walker's pretty cool. Lady Frankenstein's pretty dope, too. Grotesque actually has Linda Blair in it. Um, I think, man, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I think it's like a... It's like a home invasion film, I think. The Brutal Delivery Friend, the Group in Mindless Punks and Grotesque. Yeah, I think it's kind of like that. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, vampires, Mummies, and Monsters. <laughs> what a, Okay, let's just... Uh, yeah, throw a whole bunch of shit together all right so we got uh, streets and angel in red christina applegate man she did this movie when she was on um, married to children actually in 1990 pretty interesting role for her i don't remember angel in red at all i'm just having a hard time remembering that but yeah oh man this is one of my favorite releases firecracker tnt jackson and too hot to handle oh man lethal ladies this is the first volume Oh, these are so much fun, man. I love Firecracker. Firecracker just, it literally, like, brings tears to my eyes. It's so funny. TNT Jackson's badass, too. But Firecracker, shit, dude. There's a couple scenes in that movie that just have me rolling. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> so good. Um, then we got uh, Lethal Ladies 2, The Arena, Fly Me, and Covergirl Models. Yeah. it's good shit, man. The Arena is fucking awesome. Yeah, it's good shit right there. With, uh, with with the lovely Pam Greer. Actually, Pam Greer's coming up in a few more of these, actually. Yeah, where is it? Right here. This should, the woman in cages, this should have been called the Pam, G Pam Greer in cages, man. The big birdhouse, big dollhouse and woman in cages. Pam Greer actually is in all three of these. I think she's small role, I believe, in, uh, one of them is small role, I can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen them, but I love I love women in prison movies, man. They're just they're insane. These are all really fun. This is a pretty interesting collection. And it's very confusing how they the, the nurses collection. And it's funny because there's actually a fifth one. I'm I'm assuming that Roger Corman didn't produce it, that's why it's not in this set. But it's funny because Private Duty Nurses is the first one. Night Call Nurses is the second one. 
Young Nurses is the third one, and Candy Stripe Nurses is the fourth one. And, but like the way they have them on here is just so weird. Like, I mean, at least you can look up the dates and see when they were all released and stuff. Yeah, look at that. 74, 72, 71, 73. I don't know why they did it like that. It's really weird. <laughs> Strange. But yeah, those are pretty exploitive. Fun shit. If you like that sort of thing. Uh, this is one of the exclusive ones that I actually found at a convention, which is uh, Black Oak Conspiracy. And I, this is a great movie. I can't remember what the other two DVD exclusives were right now. I should go look that up sometime. See if I can find them for cheap somewhere. Just to kind of complete this whole Roger Cor Roger Corman cult classics collection. So that's all of them minus, like I said, two of them. Holy shit, I can't get that in there. Get in the hole. That's what she said. Um, all right, so getting along into some more Shout Factory stuff, which is Dead Cert. And I think some of these, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm assuming that some of these releases may have came out. Yeah, 2010. So this was pre Shout, uh, pre Scream Factory then. I know all those were. And some of these horror titles that they released were pre Scream Factory because I think Scream Factory started up in 2012. So that's why, like, these would have been Scream Factory titles, but this movie's fucking terrible. Dead Cert, ugh garbage man it's really fucking bad uh kingdom and the spiders which has been released on blu-ray from uh was it code red i think code red did it um it's readily available you can even find it on amazon and i just never upgraded i don't know why and i love kingdom of the spiders my homeboy zach man he's this is like his scare he's terrified of this movie because he hates spiders <laughs> this is a movie you could never make again because they kill so many real spiders in this movie. It's just like animal rights activists would be all over you, man. It's ridiculous. But William Shatner again. I love Kingdom of the Spiders. Actually, one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite spider movies. Get in there, fuck. Uh, Cannibal Girls. I actually do have a Blu-ray for this, uh, for this movie. Also, it's, uh, it's a Canadian release from some weird company, um, with a young uh, Eugene Levy right there. It's fucking awesome. Look at look at Eugene Levy. Isn't that amazing. That fro is so amazing. Oh shit. It's not great, but it's okay. I don't know. Directed by Ivan Reitman. Isn't that crazy that he directed Cannibal Girls? It's absolutely insanity that he directed this, but yeah, it's uh it's definitely not like his later work. <laughs> um Cold Prey 2, which is fantastic, man. I love Cold Prey 2. I actually like him more than the first one. I wish Cold Play or Cold Play. I wish Cold Play the band would get a blue. No, Cold Prey. I cannot talk today. Cold Prey 3 would get a um a English friendly release. That'd be awesome. Um, I've actually never seen it before, but I just, you know, want it to complete the trilogy kind of thing. But yeah, this is a fantastic film, Cold Play 2. Cold Prey 2. Holy shit, I cannot talk tonight. This is ridiculous. Uh, Steve Niles Remains. Um, yeah, this is pretty terrible too. I won't lie. It's pretty bad. And I, I got, like, this one and Dead Cert. I actually ended up getting them. I think it was from Second Spin back in the day. And uh, they were cheap. They were, like three four bucks so that's why i have these um i was just like whatever they're show factory i'll grab them all right so this has been released on blue rizzles bad dreams and um visiting hours um cool double feature again that was a nice presentation and then this actually has a yeah they i think show factory ended up releasing this on blu-ray too which i never did upgrade now when I think about it, I don't know why I never did, because I, I really like the Stepfather. I actually prefer the sequel, Stepfather 2, um, but it's not to say that this one isn't great. I, I'm a big fan of Stepfather. Or do I have a Blu-ray of Stepfather? I don't even know. I can't remember. I don't fucking know. I've got too many movies. Uh, Dark and Stormy Night. This is awesome, man. So much fun. It's so much fun. Yeah, it's pretty much like a spoof of, like, old Dark House. Um... It's a newer movie, but it's like, it's totally shot like it's old school and shit. What is it, like 2000, 2008? This is really fun. I highly recommend this. Pretty cool. Especially if you're a fan of old Dark House. Uh, Elvira's movie Macabre. Uh, Count Dracula's Great Love. Yeah, I picked up a few of these. As you can see, that was obviously a promo. Got these things used. Um, yeah. I grabbed a few of these. 
I've, I've, you know, I've got some of these on Blu-ray now and shit like that. Legacy of Blood, Devil's Wedding Nights, double feature, which again was another promo, probably the same person that dropped it off, selling off their, their review copies, fuckers. Uh, then we got Devil's Wedding as seal copy. Um, I found this one, obviously, uh, used, but I didn't need to open it. Just couldn't pass it up. I think it was like two bucks. I swear to God, it was two bucks. Uh, Blue Sunshine and Monstroid. Um, I, have, I do have a Blu-ray, a Blue Sunshine. I love Blue Sunshine, man. It's such a trippy movie. I guess I never took the sticker off that back. Oh my God, I'm going to offend people. I actually had a comment one time, and, I, and I'm very OCD with this shit. I must have just forgot these. And it's going to bug the shit out of me. I'm going to have to take these off now. But I had a comment one time and the guy's like, dude, I can't watch your videos because, or I can't, I, could, I had to turn off the video because you had a sticker on one of your DVDs. So I'm like, oh my God, dude, get some fucking help. Like, Jesus, like I have bad OCD, like really bad. But if I do forget, you know, it is going to bug me now. But seriously, I'll get that off, get that off after. Uh, the Doomsday Machine and Werewolf of Washington. These are both pretty shit movies, but, uh, you know, Cool little feature from Elvira. Uh, and some of the Shout Factory four packs, the four sci-fi movie marathon, which has Arena. Eliminators, American 3000, and Time Guardian, uh, which Time Guardian is so awesome. Uh, I think that just got a Blu-ray release too, actually. Um, Arena, Eliminators. Does Eliminators have a Blu-ray? Maybe it's exclusive. I'm not sure. But uh, these are four pretty fun fucking movies though, man. Uh, and then we got uh, Escape from Devil's Island with Jim Brown. The final option, Snake Hands with the Devil and Treasure of the Four Crowns. I don't know if I've actually watched that. I don't think I've actually seen the movie. I know the final option has a Blu-ray. Yeah, pretty cool. Action Adventure, four pack. Then we got the Action Pack Movie Marathon with Cyclone, Alienator, Exterminator 2, and I the Tiger. Uh, I know three of these four have Blu-rays. I'm not sure about Cyclone. Um, yeah. I the Tiger with um, the good old badass Gary Busey. Gotta love it. That was pretty cool. <clears throat> and then we got uh, Bulletproof with Gary Busey. Bamboo Gods Iron and Iron Men. That movie's awesome. <laughs> Track down and uh, uh, Scorchy. I don't. I, I. I think I. I. Pretty sure I watched that, but I can't remember it. Yeah. Volume two. The action adventure. Ah, uh, for cult movie marathon volume one. Invasion of the Bee Girls. The Devil's Bee. Unholy Rollers and Vicious Lips. I don't know why I never upgraded Vicious Lips. I really like that movie. It's kind of kind of cool premise. Invasion of the Beat Girls is great too. I actually did, I actually did buy a copy of this, and it never arrived. And um, I, because I think it was out of print, and I picked one up for really cheap, and then it never arrived. And so I got refunded, and I never found another copy worth buying. I was fucking pissed about that. Yeah, that was a while back when like the mail COVID fucked up mail so hard that I was losing everything. I lost like close to 40 packages in a couple months. And I was just like, I, ah, I didn't know what to do. This is ridiculous. Nothing was showing up. Uh, Angel from Hell, uh, Chatterbox. <laughs> can just imagine what Chatterbox is about. Yes, Talking Vagina. The Naked Cage and uh, Savage Island with uh, Linda Blair. Man, like, <laughs> talk about cult films, man. Ah, oh, shit. Ridiculous. It's fun stuff, though. Um... Captain America. This is the end. Captain America 2. These are the original movies. Um, I've actually seen these before. What is that? 79? 2000, the other one gave 2011. Is that really? Is that what it is? No. No, I don't, need, I don't remember what year. Fuck, that's not right. What are the years? 79 and... I don't know. I, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, Christopher Lee. Um, I should rewatch these, man. I should really rewatch those. It's been a while. And then we got uh, Unprotected, Spike and Mike, Sick and Twisted, uh, little shorts and shit, man. There's some fun stuff on here. They're so bad, but like hilarious, man. 
this oh man i remember i threw this on one time i was having some beers with homies and oh dude we were laughing they were they were actually really funny all right into some shout blues what one a double feature i absolutely love dirty mary crazy larry and race of the devil such an amazing double feature P the peter fonda double feature really i love me some more notes too man what a great race of the devil is just fantastic it's got one of the greatest movie endings along with uh, dirty mary crazy larry this should be the the greatest double feature endings <laughs> it's fucking awesome man if you've never seen these check them out awesome movies uh we got some jackie chan here police story police story 2 i think these were actually re-released by criterion which i'm fine with this it's it is what it is and i'm a huge jackie chan fan as you guys know i have a lot of jackie chan movies man look at the dust on that fucker um a boy and his dog uh we actually re reviewed this on the podcast years and years ago i want to say it almost nine eight nine years ago uh with don johnson fucking great movie man really really great movie yeah gotta love it uh, then we got Rolling Thunder um, with William Devane and uh, Tommy Lee Jones. Great film, man. Great film. As you can see, I obviously picked this one up. Use another another copy. Somebody sold off their fucking PR copies. Joshua Tree with uh, Dolph Lundgren. Um, it's pretty good. You know, it's not like phenomenal, but it's good. I, I enjoy it. I still have not actually watched this copy. Um, of The Hunted. And I'm pretty fucking sure. I picked this up on a hunch that it was the movie that I remembered it to be, so I still need to check this out again. With Christopher Lambert. Yeah. You need to check that out sometime. Uh, the Bruce Lee Collection, which of course has The Big Boss, Fist of Fury, Way of the Dragon, Game of Death. These were all re-released with like better transfers and shit, and I was like, okay. It actually originally came in like, it was just one thing like one side and i was like are you serious because there's there's actually uh there's actually four discs <laughs> can't really get them out right now but that is just the shoddiest packaging i've ever seen i couldn't even believe when i opened it up there was like four discs stacked in there i was like you get that's like ridiculous but i didn't really think the transfers were overly that bad on here apparently the new ones are better but you know it is what it is it's bruce lee it's good stuff uh, Southern Comfort, phenomenal film, man. Oh, I love this movie. Rest in peace to Powers Booth. Fucking Keith Carradine. It's a great movie, man. A perfect partner to Deliverance. Yeah, I guess that works. Yeah. Directed by legendary Walter Hill. Uh, Crime Wave, directed by Sam Raimi. It's just a really, really goofy fucking movie, man. I, I don't know what it is about this movie. I can't get into it, though. I just can't do it for some odd reason, man. It's just, it's like too goofy for me. I'll give it another shot sometime, but I don't know. A lot of people like it. I'm just, I'm not the hugest fan. But I like private school though, man. Private school is fun stuff. Sex comedies, I guess, in the sense. With Phoebe Cates. Oh, she's so sexy. I wish she hadn't given up on acting. Such a shame. All right, get into some shout select stuff here. And, like, I, I don't really, like, collect these. I, I pick up, you know, the ones that I want here and there kind of thing. Uh, there is actually a few more that I do want, but uh, I had to grab Nighthawks because I love this movie. Oh, so good, man. Super underrated. Billy D. Williams. Gotta love it. Rooker Hauer. Stone. Sylvester Stallone. It's a good movie. Oh, yeah. I love Streets of Fire. And it's got a great soundtrack. The movie's great it's just a great movie man you gotta love it you gotta love this shit is that even picking up right on there yeah there we go another uh walter hill movie fantastic stuff really really good this was actually a movie that i'd never seen before until i actually mentioned zach before but he told me he's like man you gotta check out three o'clock high and this movie's fantastic man it's great I don't know how I never saw this one growing up. It just it blew my mind. I was like, how did I miss this shit? But yeah, it's really good. Uh, Clint Eastwood's uh, Hang Em High. I love, I'm a huge, huge Eastwood fan. Um, yeah, and this is, uh, it's a great Western. It really is. So, 
hang them high. I the, like that artwork a lot. It's good stuff. Oh, come on. Get in there. Uh, then we got the Street Fighter collection. Oh, shit, dude. I absolutely love these movies. They're so good. Some Sunny Chiba. Rest in peace to Sunny Chiba. These are fantastic. Fantastic stuff. Yeah. Good companion with the Sister Street Fighter stuff. Uh, American Me. Oh, it's so good, man. So good. Such a great film. Underrated, in my opinion. Super good. Super good stuff. Lots of good samples from that movie have been used. Uh, then we got The Wizard. Had to grab it. Childhood favorite of mine with Fred Savage. Man, this shit still... Like, it used to amaze me. I was like... Because Mario 3 hadn't dropped yet, so you're seeing it like really for the first time in this film. You're like, that's so cool. And I kept going, how do they know how to play it? <laughs> it was so frustrating. Um, but yeah, The Wizard. Good stuff. Yeah. Have to have it. Gotta have it. Oh, and the incredibly awesome Nothing But Trouble. Man, this movie's fucking amazing, man. <laughs> Chevy Chase, Dan Aykroyd, John Candy, rest in peace. I, I miss John Candy so much. He was like one of my all-time favorites. And Demi Moore. What a cast. Directed by Dan Aykroyd, of all people. Um, it's really, really bizarre. Super, super bizarre. But it's so funny. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Just even thinking about it, man. I've watched it like three times as I've had it. It's amazing. Uh, had to pick up Summer School, man, which of course has some horror elements to it. I just recently picked this up. I haven't rewatched it, but I should actually watch it, you know, this summer again. But I love me some Summer School, man. It's great shit. Really fun movie. Uh, then we got uh, Mission, Missing in Action 2. I mean, 3. Fuck, what the hell am I talking about? Missing in Action 2. Uh, Braddock, Missing in Action 3. Um, which is, yeah, it's pretty, definitely the weakest one of the three. I haven't watched it since I picked up the Blu-ray, but yeah. I marathoned these a few years back, actually. M missing in action. This was like another copy. I actually I picked up one. I, f I found this copy for two bucks, so I gave my other copy away. So it's what? It's still sealed. It's like a reseal, but it was two bucks on Blu-ray. I'm like, well, I'm not going to pass that up. So I just kept it sealed for now. I'll watch it again. And the absolutely amazing Invasion USA. <laughs> This is the greatest shootout in a mall scene ever. This movie is so ridiculous. Like, this pretty much defines, like, canon films, man. It's just so ridiculous. Richard Lynch is, like, a fucking maniac in this. Like, we're talking maniac, man. Like, it's unbelievable. Amazing. It's, like, right up there with one of my... It, probably, it's, I, it might even be my favorite Chuck Norris movie. I love Invasion USA. It's so amazing. And you guys know I'm a huge Chuck Norris fan, which I have, like big collection of films over here I think it's got to start upgrading some of those fuckers all right so into the last few things here we got the cycle legacy this was also in the um documentary section um the psycho legacy documentary really good man it's really good stuff i think i remember it being kind of short though yeah 87 minutes i was like shit it's really short all right then a couple box sets from shell factory we got beetlejuice which Again, most people that watch my channel probably know that I'm a huge uh, cartoon freak. I love cartoons, and I love Beetlejuice. I still watch it all the time, believe it or not. I watch the Ninja Turtles cartoon all the time still. I'm such a dork, but I do. I really do watch them all the time. Like, one minute I'll be watching episodes of Taxi, and then I'll throw on Beetlejuice, and I'm, I'm very strange like that, but I love that cartoon. And then we got the, the Transformers Seasons. Uh, season one? Yeah, the complete first season, which is cool. I really need to get that G.I. Joe box set. I keep putting it off. I really do need to grab it, though. Um, and then this is uh, season two, volume one, Transformers, original cartoon. Uh, season two, part two, which this one is kind of coming apart a little bit. Original Transformers, and of course we've got season three and four, which I think it says on the side there. So yeah, season threes and four, which are awesome. Oh, did they release the movie? The Transformers movie? Because I do have the Blu-ray of that too. Is it is it released by Shell Factory? I can't even remember. If it is, I do have it. It's in my cartoon section. Yeah. Um, Freaks and Geeks, the complete series, which was such an underrated funny ass show like 
crazy cast. Look at that cast right there. I'm sure you guys can recognize everybody that's in there. Um, it was a sh show that was filmed, I believe, in Vancouver. Canadian show. And it only lasts, I think it was like only one season, but it was it was a really fun, man. Really fun show. But yeah, of course, Seth Rogen right there. And, and so on and so on. You guys recognize everybody. And last up here, yes, I know, I'm a dork. Screech Dork, Saved by the Bell, the complete collection, which is cool because it actually comes with the original Good Morning Miss Bliss, which turned into Saved by the Bell. It's awesome, man. The college years and the movies. It really is the definitive collection. It's pretty cool, man. Um, so if you like Saved by the Bell, like I do, which I actually ended up, I watched that entire box set after I got it. So it's from my childhood, man. It really is. I grew up with this shit, so. But anyways, that is going to conclude... Um. Yeah, the the show, the Scream Factory, Shout Factory collection. So, I think what I'm gonna do, I might get to the Arrow stuff next. I do have a bunch of Arrow stuff coming in the mail because they've had sales recently, but it doesn't matter. I think I'll probably do, do the Arrow stuff next. I don't know. I got so much stuff to move around and go through, so I'm not sure when the next batch of videos are gonna come out. Like I said, I gotta go through all this. Like this is absolutely an abomination. Like it's that's all vinegar syndrome. <laughs> There's like literally there's like 500 titles. It's, it's absolutely insane. But um, yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm doing in this room. It's gonna take me so long. I'm so busy. But you guys get the picture. Enough with the excuses, like Mr. Mr. Parker and his excuses. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, you know, give the video a like and uh, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the shout factory part and the whole collection overview which i can't believe was six parts is ridiculous of like 30 to 40 minute videos all right guys i'll check you guys later Deuces!